Bob, you wrote recently in Automotive News uh, about the end of an era, sort of, for for the car, the the era of the automobile. Yeah, I uh, talk a little I bit about it, that. I call it the party's over. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, I mean, sad but true. Uh, I think the automobile as we know it is an object of desire and lust and important brands, prestige brands, sporty brands and everything. I I see it fading into the past gradually, hopefully, and transition will be complete long after I'm gone. But I think we are entering a, a time when the automobile is going to be is going to cease to be a human driven instrument of pleasure and it will become a highly efficient self-driving uh, method for efficient surface transportation and how fast do you see these changes coming well it's in the next five years for sure we will see the emergence of the first autonomous robo-taxi fleets in big cities. That will probably progress over the next 10 years, and I think in 15 years, we'll be at the point where most, if not all, traffic in big cities is by robo-taxis, which will relieve congestion, reduce travel times, increase safety and so forth. Uh, in the residential or rural areas and on the interstates, we'll continue to have cars as we know them, but with increasing degrees of self-driving to where, you know, get yourself to the freeway, hit the cruise control button, and then relax and it'll take you as far as you want to go. And the ultimate future, say, 25 to 30 years out, it's all going to be autonomous in the cities and out in the country and human driven cars will be relegated to museums or driving parks or off-road venues where people can drive in the desert if they want to. It'll, it'll go the way of the horse. You know, the horse used to be the prime mover. The horse is now gone off the streets, but it it leads a nice existence in uh, horse stables, dude ranches, and so forth. And uh, that's going to that's going to be what happens to the human-driven car.